It's almost 2023 now, and have you ever thought about changing your career? Or why not about adding to your career, which sounds like a better choice, right? So, well, we're going to talk about content creation today. And my name is Mark, and welcome to Vlog Media, and see you in the next few seconds. Well, content creation has been around for quite some time lately. Well, for the past decade, yes. And there's been a rise in content creation since the pandemic because people are staying home and they want to be heard. And of course, obviously, content creation has actually, well, boomed over the last few years. And in the 2023, next year, there will be a lot more content creation than ever was. And I began this content creation way back 2020, actually, but not through this video, but I started as a writer for a, a website. Uh, so. Practicing through writing is actually one way to me for do some content creation because I believe that I serve a purpose about telling people about COVID, the factual stuff. So so I did begin with that and yeah. And the aim of that is actually to alleviate their fear. And that actually motivated me to do some content creation. So it started in that kind of year wherein I really realized that um, content creation is a way to go because you can reach a lot of people which you never reached. And the reach of the internet is actually enormous around the globe, globally. And currently at this point in time, we already reached about 8 billion people in the world. And that's quite a lot. If you only can capture about like 1% of them, you'll have 80 million followers, which is quite really massive. So you just have to content create. And content creation in 2023 will be different because there's a lot of technology going on right now and there'll be a boom and it will be an economy of content creators in the next year or within the next coming years to come. If you start writing regularly, it will be to your advantage. Well, let me tell you a story. So way back 2020, I started writing on when, about COVID-19. I just do it because, it, I mean, because I just want to motivate people not to get scared and to be more proactive in preventing COVID-19. So six months after writing about uh, about that disease and articles and everything, uh, I got a call from a famous agency. It was the United Nations. So the United Nations called me up and they said, hey, Mark, do you want to apply for work for us? And well, apparently, um, well, it was a really good offer, but I didn't have the vaccine, so I have to turn it down. But uh, just to show you that when you start writing things or when you do content creation regularly, uh, there, you'll be connecting with people that you really don't know and they will be offering you very good advantages in, in your career. So 2023 will be a lot more for content creation. Well, because for one main reason, as I think of it, COVID-19. Yeah, COVID-19 has actually fragmented everybody in the world and socially and medically speaking. So socially, because we have been locked down and we're not as social as we used to be. And if you are, we, well, humans are actually social creatures and we have been fragmented by lockdowns, frequent lockdowns. And during the past two years, people are not as sociable as they used to be. And content creation can actually bring that together and bring us back to our social creator self. <laughs> yeah. So next is actually medically. So there was actually a an article about uh, two days ago that was published in National Geographic. And I think scientists have found out why there was a long COVID syndrome about brain fog. So brain fog, when brain fog occurs, there are actually neurons in our brain which are responsible for transmitting impulses. Well, basically, nerves are actually for transmitting impulses. And they need that connection from one another. So what really happens in long COVID syndrome is that, well, in particular, brain fog is that uh, neurons have less connections with one, one another. So if we have less connection, there's actually less processing power in our brains, making us a little bit more dull, leading to a syndrome called a brain fog. And in my opinion, I think that content creation, social cohesion will actually heal that in the long run. So it won't take a year. We don't know. There's no research yet. But, but I do think that um, enhancing communication and uh, communication skills, speaking, speaking out and learning new things is actually one way to, to rehabilitate uh, people with long COVID syndrome such as brain. Persistent with content creation or posting contents that are really of value. There will be a point in time that you will have something good in return, even though you're not expecting it. Actually, in 2023, there will really be a boom of content creators. So according to a famous YouTuber, Vanessa Lau, uh, you can either be one of these three people. You can, either, you can either be a coach, a course creator, or a consultant. Um, well, if you are one of these three, or if you are really good with one of these three, then content creation has so much for you in the year 2023. But of course, it will be a lot better if you're all three of them, right? 
There's another famous YouTuber by the name of Gary Vaynerchuk, or also known as Gary V on the social stage. So he, he gave a talk about two months ago, wherein uh, that he mentioned that the most important thing about uh, content creation is about self-awareness. So through self-awareness, he mentioned that you need to be aware of what you're really good at in order to excel in this social creation content or social creator economy nowadays, what we call it. So you have to be good with either three things. You have to be good with either the video, by doing YouTube videos and other forms of content. You can be good with audio or doing the podcast or in a written form. Oh, he further mentioned that uh, the content or your content is actually the oxygen of your uh, creator career and without the content there's no oxygen and your channel will simply die so i had this actually moments where in uh, last year where i started my uh well posting on youtube so i had this nine month gap nine month gap which is quite long and i think that it's quite a bad thing because uh, i should be posting regularly and that they uh, so so fans will actually not follow you because if you're not really posting regularly. So therefore, it's actually the oxygen to which your content career is actually relying on to. So not only content creation is an oxygen to your career, you can actually create multiple streams of income with your content creation. So if you're good with these three, videos, podcasts, and writing, you can create multiple sources of incomes with those three skills that you have if you're going to develop it. Although in content creation you can talk about anything under the sun, however uh, we should caution you that you can't talk about something that you do not know so before you talk about things make sure you research things first and thoroughly before you can talk about something that you really want to share with the world. For example, uh, I wanted to talk about cryptocurrency and uh, and Bitcoin so but I'm not really good at it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some research to it and most likely in the year 2023, I can, I can comfortably talk about Bitcoin and the, the blockchain. The good thing about content creation in the year 2023 is that uh, while most of you have a job and people will lose jobs in 2023 because of recessions, uh, you, for, for those who do have a job, you can actually use this as a high side hustle. And while those who lost their job, you can actually shift your career into toward to content creation. However, if you're actually working, um, I don't advise you quitting your job, but uh, I want you to focus on this side hustle because this side hustle is actually a skill that you have. If you do have the skill, then you can actually develop the skill while you're actually starting on this social creator stuff. Uh, to tell you the truth, when I started this content creation, like, such as YouTube and writing, I'm not really good with it. But I do have to practice every time I have to write something. At first it was really bad and sloppy, but through time, um, comments from people, feedbacks, do I learn to improve on my craft? So, so actually content creation is actually uh, a really a side hustle that when you do really, really good, you can actually overtake your job as the main source of income. You can actually try something that you're really good at as a, as a side hustle. So, but if you're not good at something, then if you're bad at something, then try to improve on it and practice over time because eventually you will be improving that thing somehow. However, if you're not really good at that thing or, or really bad at it despite several trials. Well, the best thing to do is actually to network and actually look for someone who is actually good at filling the job. Believe it or not, according to Forbes magazine that was posted November 29, 2022, is that they mentioned that being a content creator is one of the most desirable jobs in the world right now. It's in right now. I mean, when I was young, everybody wants to become a doctor, everybody wants to become a scientist, but right now it has overtaken that kind of things. So the content creator is undoubtedly one of the most desirable jobs in the world right now and even more so in the year 2023 and more the, and for the years to come because we are now in the content creator economy so according to Forbes magazine there are some facts to being a content creator it's actually a full-time job so content creator is not really something that to be taken lightly so you have to invest a lot of effort and time for it to grow and it's like a it's like a business we have to swear in you have to scale it up slowly so it's not an overnight success and the good thing about it is that everyone, literally everyone, can actually start right away with no or less barrier to entry in the content world. Before continuing further, if you like this video, please don't forget to click that like button, share, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow. Aside from being one of the most sought after careers in this era, there was actually a survey that was done by Tilt. And they interviewed a thousand content creators and they found out that 
27% of full-time creators and 40% of part-time creators say that finding their niche is actually one of the biggest challenges as a content creator. Well, you, when you try to look for niche, actually you're trying to make your own space in the digital world of content creation. So yeah, I'll make a full detail on that in the next video above. Uh, yeah. People actually like to plan uh, and like to plan and keep on planning and but not doing anything but if you plan ahead and try to perfect the plan which actually will never be perfect nothing will happen so that's actually what you call procrastination and what you need to do as a content creator if you want to be it's okay to plan ahead doesn't have to be perfect but the most important thing is that you do it so yeah so in order to combat the procrastination what you need to do is that you need to realize that nothing is perfect and it will never be perfect by the way so what you need to do is just click that record button, start speaking, doesn't matter what you look like, but the most important thing is to get started. Your message may not be that clear at first, but as you get along with time, you learn to master the craft. So start influencing, start creating, and stop procrastinating, and be a content creator in the next 2023. So bye for now, and I'll see you, or I'll see your video in the next video. So if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.